G'day bike riders. Today we are again in Geelong and we are looking at how you can get to Cadinia Park on a Geelong Cats match day. I'm the Bike Route Buddy, bringing you bicycle infrastructure reviews from Geelong and further afield. Cadinia Park is a big park in Geelong and contains the GMHBO Stadium, the home of the Geelong Cats AFL team. The stadium has a capacity of 40,000 people as a result of the recent construction of the new Joel Selwood stand at the northern end of the ground. The Cats play a total of nine home games here in 2024 at GMHBA Stadium, which means it's largely empty for 356 days a year. There are occasionally Big Bash cricket games and some AFLW games that attract a few thousand fans, but generally it is only AFL games that bring in a big crowd. On game days, it is traffic mayhem in the streets around Kidinia Park, as all 40,000 people seem to arrive by car. There is a car park on the western side of the stadium, but that seems to be generally for players and officials. The surrounding grassy park is reserved for parking on these nine game days, so no other use of this park can be developed as this would take away from the car parking. The surrounding streets are full of parked cars and are gridlocked before and after the game on these days. It seems the number one way of getting to the games is by car. Let's check out the Cadinia Park website and look at options for getting to the ground on game day. There is a very detailed page on the website suggesting ways of getting to GMHBA Stadium. GMHBA Stadium is located in the heart of Geelong and is easily accessible by public transport, car or walking from the Geelong CBD. The default page is by car and provides detailed instructions for getting there by car. Geelong is 75 kilometres from Melbourne and accessible via the Westgate Bridge and following the Princess Highway. In Geelong, the Princess Highway becomes La Trobe Terrace, no turns required. Once you reach the set of traffic lights, directly adjacent to the 7-Eleven, turn left into Kilgore Street and make an immediate right. This will take you straight into Cadinia Park's main entry being Kilgore Street. It also provides detailed instructions for car parking. Parking, major events days. Very limited paid parking will be available via the Park Crescent entrance, C7. Accessible parking will be located in the B6 parking area, into via La Trobe Terrace. There are also instructions for arriving by train. Getting here by train. Geelong is approximately one hour from Melbourne's Southern Cross Station with the Geelong Railway Station situated 1.8 kilometres to the north of the stadium and South Geelong Station located 450 metres to the east, making getting to the stadium simple and convenient. There is no suggestion that someone that lives in Geelong might arrive by train. The South Geelong Station is located one block to the east of the stadium. You can get the train from any of the Geelong suburban suburbs, Warren Ponds, Marshall, North Geelong, North Shore or Corio but it seems the train is only promoted to people travelling from Melbourne, and GMHBA Stadium do not expect anyone from Geelong or surrounding suburbs to come by train. In 2024, the Geelong train line between South Geelong and Warren Ponds is getting an upgrade, so the train line was closed between the main Geelong station and Warren Ponds. South Geelong is the closest station to GMHBA Stadium, and the trains are not arriving at this station while the works are going on. I found this post on the Upgrading the Geelong and Warrnambool Lines Facebook page. Footy fans travelling to and from the Geelong Cats vs Western Bulldogs game by South Geelong Station this Saturday 20th of July are advised to plan ahead and allow plenty of extra time. The V-Line coach replacement stop will be temporarily relocated to Verna Street on Saturday while construction continues on the South Geelong Station upgrade. After the game, passengers can catch the coach from Verna Street to Geelong Station, but please note this journey may take up to 40 minutes due to traffic congestion. An alternative and faster option for passengers who are able to walk is back to Geelong Station, which is about a 20 minute walk from GMHBA Stadium. The fact that the public transport gets stuck in traffic is a classic case of the Downs-Thompson's paradox. According to Wikipedia, the Downs-Thompson paradox, named after Anthony Downs and John Michael Thompson, also known as the Pigot-Knight-Downs paradox, after Arthur Pigot and Frank Knight, states that the equilibrium speed of car traffic on a road network is determined by the average door-to-door -door speed of equivalent journeys taken by public transport or the next best alternative. Basically what this means is that people will drive until there is an alternative option that is faster than driving. If the bus gets stuck in the same traffic as the cars, a bus will never be faster than driving. Therefore, the large majority of people will continue to drive. The next mode of transportation is arriving by plane, with mentions of both Melbourne and Avalon airports. The final mention is by taxi, a taxi rank will be located on Verna Street at the conclusion of the event. It seems that Caninia Park does not even consider that walking or riding might be a viable option for getting to the stadium on game days. There is not even any information on the getting there page for walking or cycling. 
I won't look too much into the walking options, but I'll focus on the option of cycling to a game. Let's start off with access. The Southern Bike Link travels along Moorable Street, immediately to the east of the stadium. It connects the river trails that connect to loads of suburbs along the river. This is a very viable route from Newtown, Highton, Belmont, Hearn Hill, Fiennesford and Breakwater, just to name a few suburbs. There's also the Western Bike Link that you could follow in from Manifold Heights, Geelong West and Newtown, then connect to the Southern Link and onto GMHBA Stadium. Although the Southern Bike Link has a few problems, it is a great efficient way of beating the traffic and being able to park right at your destination. There is a mention of car parking on the website, but nothing for bike parking. There are only a handful of bike parks at the park, but look how close they are, basically underneath the stand. And there are four more hoops adjacent to the new $340 million Joel Solwood stand. So again, it seems that no one is encouraging more than four people to cycle to a game, even with a $340 million investment. There are three more racks at the St Mary's football ground, located a few hundred metres from the GMHBA. And these ones look like bike racks, but don't be duped into thinking they are. They are the lines for the ticketing window. I checked out the bike racks on the Cats vs Bulldogs game on July 20, 2024, in which the visitors were victors in appalling weather, and found not a single bike in the hoops. The racks under the stand, out of the weather however, were being put to good use by this guy. It was miserable weather, but the bike parking situation is much the same for these games in a good weather and during the day. The bike parking is so close to the entry gates, it's free and you beat all the congestion, yet arriving by bike is not supported or promoted as a way of getting to the games. Let's look at some of the other AFL grounds, starting off with the home of AFL at the MCG. No mention of riding a bike as a legitimate transport option is mentioned on the MCG transport options page. However, if you navigate your way into the journey planner, there is a bike route planner. I'm not sure how good it is, but it is great that the MCG think that travelling by bike is a viable option. How about Adelaide Oval? Again, no mention of cycling as a transport option, but there is a mention of bike racks being located outside the north, south and east gates. Let's have a look at Perth Stadium or Optus Stadium in Perth. They seem to think that cycling to the stadium is a viable transport option and it looks like there are a couple of shared paths that lead straight to the stadium not unlike the Southern Bike Link leading directly to Kadinya Park. Perth Stadium also has a sustainability future page and it mentions that more than 80% of patrons accessing the stadium and stadium park utilise public transport. The stadium has bike parking spaces to accommodate up to 500 bikes. Perth, or Optus Stadium, has a capacity of 61,000 people, whereas Kadinya Park, or GMHBA Stadium, has a capacity of 40,000. So in theory, Cadinia Park should have about two-thirds the number of bike racks, or around 330. I can only count four hoops and two racks, so even if you park a bike on each side of these, it will make a capacity of 12 bikes, which is a bit different to 330. Marnaka Oval in Canberra is probably a good comparison with Geelong. City population is similar to Geelong, however the capacity of the ground is only 13,500, compared to 40,000 at Cadinia Park. Marnaka website says, there are a number of paths available for use for entry and departure from Marnica Oval. Please note there is a bike rack outside the east and main gates, but no bikes are permitted inside the venue. You must also provide your own lock and the venue takes no responsibility for your bike security. Interestingly, there is a caveat that the venue takes no responsibility for your bike security. There is no similar caveat in the car parking section. So does that mean the venue takes responsibility for the security of cars but not bikes? If they don't take responsibility for the security cars, I don't know why bikes are singled out for an explicit comment. Anyway, at least Monica Oval do suggest that you can arrive at the venue by bike. One more comparison, let's look at the SCG. There is a section for cycling and walking on the Getting There page. Moore Park, Centennial Park and the surrounding areas boast some of the most picturesque cycleways in Sydney and is one of the most cycling friendly public spaces in the city. Cyclists will find many bike racks in convenient locations along Driver Avenue in Moore Park and all pathways in Moore Park are shared footpath cycleways. So, in comparison to the other AFL stadiums, Caninia Park with GMHBA Stadium sits well behind its peers in terms of promoting cycling to an event as a legitimate form of transportation and providing infrastructure to cater for this mode of transport. I thought I'd just throw this one in for comparison. When the Dutch have a music festival, they actively promote cycling to the event, and it is mind-blowing how many people do ride. This shot is from the Zwart Cross Music Festival in the Netherlands. Imagine how much space would be required if all these people came by car. With this concept, much less land is required to store the cars, 
much less traffic, and if you live within four or five kilometers, a much quicker travel time. A big chunk of the attendees to a Cats game would live within four to five kilometers of the ground and could easily ride in 15 minutes, which is faster than trying to park your car at Caninia Park. I find it quite astonishing that Caninia Park or GMHBO Stadium have this great bike route running up the eastern side of the stadium, but it does not even get a mention on the Getting There page of their website. There are tens of thousands of people within an easy cycling distance, yet everyone just loves to sit in the traffic jam at the start and the end of the game to get a park within one kilometre of the ground. Oh, and another mention, the Geelong Cats want to create an outdoor training facility for the elite athletes and an 8,000 seat boutique stadium. But instead of building it on one of the car parks that only get used on nine games per year, there is talk of wanting to place it where the nine netball courts are, displacing the 5,000 people that use the netball courts on a weekly basis. This will probably displace the netball courts to a place out of town with far less transport options. Once again, thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe. I'm the Bike Route Buddy and I'll see you avoiding all the traffic jams cycling to a cat's home game.